And we're back with the card review and now we're gonna do it for a warrior card together with the hunter tourist ranger ghillie that we um can put in our hunter decks and then we get access to all the warrior cards and those are the warrior cards for the new upcoming expansion and we'll have a little bit of a look at them um first up we have cup of muscle which is give a minion in your hand plus two plus one three drinks left this would be really interesting with a minion that can duplicate itself but i don't think one mana plus two plus one really um it's kind of funny it doesn't say random like it's almost like you can choose but i'm pretty sure it implies it's random um so i mean obviously that makes it worse because you're like you're not really sure how and when you're getting the payoff and with what kind of cards it's for example it's really really sick of course with the highlander hunter drop right that is immune and attacks like all enemies and stuff like this but i think hunter would rather play curve than play this card and like for warrior the only playable warrior really is like it's brand and brand and odin so far we don't really have something that's like board centric and strong so this doesn't really have a place to go right now in the current warrior durations um so we're gonna have to have a little bit of a look at what what else we can find but i mean it's three spells in one and it's one of the better drinks right because like most of the times the drinks are like really bad because they have to make up for the fact that it's kind of like one mana plus two plus one draw card you know so this this is like really really nice because it's kind of like almost like cycle a card and you just get zero mana plus two plus one if you say drawing a card is worth one i feel like this effect like the the drink effect is basically valued at one mana so this is kind of like zero mana plus two plus one obviously it's not that um because then it'd be op and you just play it but you get what i'm saying right then we have three mana two four tradable taunt whenever you draw this get a copy of it and by get you mean on board right okay moving on uh monstrosity monstrosity is a nine mana six nine taunt that is a lot of mana at the end of your turn summon the mental with stats equal to this minion that is unplayable completely unplayable unless i can cheat this out can we cheat this out how do we cheat this out There isn't that much that helps us cheat this out yet, right? So they're going to print some cards. Chemical Spill. Man, but if you have Chemical Spill, this is, it's 5 mana, 2, 6 force with Taunt. It's actually not that bad. Also works with Horson, which is pretty sick. I like that this works with Horson. Actually, Horson into this is like a mega insane. Is Horson still in standard? Anyway. All you can eat. Draw three minions of different minion types. Okay. But that's really good, right? Amalgam Warrior with back boys. Amalgam Warrioring this up. Our, like warrior has a lot of like like really good card draw for for different minion types i really liked amagan warrior last time it was presented can we have thrasher back so three mana draw three cards is really strong like even in current hearthstone three mana draw three is pretty strong and different minion types makes it like really work well last time this deck was around it didn't work that well so I'm, I'm a little bit skeptical, but um, this could even work for like some control deck where they just want to draw a bunch of cards 
so many minions have different types now. You're like, I don't know, you have like an Acolyte as an Undead, Zilliax is in everything as your mech, stuff like that, Glacial Shard. Like for decks, for, for decks I want to get through their cards pretty quickly. I think if you would still have like Reno Warrior be activated by your deck itself rather than at the start of the game, you would put this in Odin Warrior and you'd play a version of Odin Warrior with different effects like Glacial Shard. All right. Four mana, three, four beast, undercooked calamari, battle cry, destroy an enemy minion with attack less than or equal to this minion. I mean, that's pretty good, especially if you hand buff this. You can, like, destroy some pretty good minion. I don't think you'll see play, though. I don't think it's, like, what warrior needs or wants in any form. Four mana, char, deal seven damage to a minion. Also, I think this takes away buffs in your hand from other minions that are, like, more important. I mean, like, it kills Amantul, I guess, but... Yeah. I'd, I'd be surprised if these apply. Deal 7 damage to a minion. Give a minion in your hand stats equal to the X's damage. 4 mana, deal 7, and then you can buff a minion in your hand. Huh. I think this is pretty decent. A Calamari, Calamari might actually be a good Hunter card. Because it's like hard removal is hard to come by in Hunter. But Char is pretty interesting. Like, deal 7 damage just like that, I think it's fine. Then we have Food Fight. Summon a 0-6 Entree for your opponent. When it dies, summon a minion from your deck. When the Entree is a 3-mana 0-6, Death Rattle, your opponent summons a minion from their deck. So this will go into, like, this will go into, like, the big deck, right? Together with uh, Zilliax and Horson and Monsterosity. I like that you're getting some consistency in terms of like expensive minions, right? One of the reasons why expensive minions warrior wasn't working, among many reasons of why it doesn't work, is because um, you just don't have enough good minions like where this works. And then we have... But this is a good way to cheat it out. Like you don't get it right away for three mana. But you can probably get this popped over like by turn five, and I think that's probably good enough. Unless the opponent like shadow steps it or something like this. But there's not too many decks that do super well with that. Then you have eight mana six six rush elusive. Can only take one damage at a time. That's pretty funny. Eight mana six six. This is really good with um Chemical Spill. Chemical Spill is a 5 mana card that summons the most expensive minion from your hand and that deals 5 damage to it. So if you play Chemical Spill with this card together, you get a 5 mana 6 5 rush that can't be targeted by spells or hero powers that only takes 1 damage at a time. This is really good with Chemical Spill. Like, insane. Like, this will remove a lot you can't kill it with spells. You can't target it with spells. And you basically have to trade into it. But it only takes one damage at a time. It's, uh... Like, I mean, if it has a rush, it kills something immediately. Like, if you get that with chemical spells, this is really insane. The question is, does this combination of cards, like, make these things work together? I don't know. There's not that many dragons, so you're very likely, I guess, to always draw it from from all you can eat. And then the thing is, if you like, if you hand buff this, this will die even slower. Other issue is it always gets stolen by Yogg. Um, right? If you play this for eight mana, your opponent steals it next turn with Yogg. Or a lot of decks have ways to cheat out Yogg, and you need your own Yogg to answer it. Or you need a Brawl. Brawl is like a non-targeted removal. Or like a Bladestorm. Bladestorm can also kind of work. I don't know. I like this card though. Then we have 7 mana 4 to Battle Cry and Death Battle. Uh, 7 mana 4 to Weapon. The right, right Cleaver. Battle Cry and Death Battle. Give a slice of bread. Get 2 to sandwich any minions in between. 
Uh-huh. Okay, so what happens is you play this card, you get a slice of bread, and then when you swing with your second swing, you get another slice of bread. You put all the minions in between. And yeah, you can't see the video all too well, but you summon all the minions that you manage to draw between the time you played this card and the, the time you death with this card. Which is obviously really insane with like some really big minions. Um I don't know. The first time I looked at this card, I was thinking this is Giga Garbage. But with all the big cards, technically, nah, who am I kidding, bros? This doesn't work. It's still too expensive and too slow. It doesn't have immediate impact. And then you need to draw a good card the next turn. If you don't, it's bad. And if you get Viper, it's bad. And if you draw like a good death battle fight card like Bran or Odin that you need to win your game, it's bad. XDDDD, moving on. Um, six mana three six Ham the Hungry is the Druid Taurus of the Hunter class. So that means you can't play uh, of the Hunter class, of the Warrior cards, excuse me. It has Taunt that at the end of your turn, eat a minion in the enemy's deck to gain plus two plus two. So it's a six mana five five at least with taunt that kills one of your opponent's cards which let's be real doesn't really matter this is like like it really doesn't matter overdrawing cards in hearthstone when you have so much value I don't think it's really something you're too concerned about. So I think this is a this effect is going to be mega overrated. Um, I think the only re like if this card didn't say Druid Tourist on it, it would be a hundred percent unplayable. But it says Druid Tourist on it, so we're gonna have to have to look at if we need to play this in our deck to be able to play Druid cards and if Druid cards are good. But luckily, Druid cards have never been good. I don't know, there's never been any cards in Druid that have, would have been super insane in other classes. Right, Winky Face? Um, so yeah. We'll have to evaluate this card later. I'll give some ratings to the cards for now. Let me see. Um, okay, so. Cup of Muscle. I think it's a... A 2. Line Cook is a 1. Monstrosity is cool. I'll give it a three. All you can eat. Actually, I'm joking. This is a two. All you can eat is a two. I think Undercard Calamari is like a one in Warrior, but uh, like a three in Hunter. I think Char is a two, deal seven damage to a minion. I think Food Fight is also a two. I think Draconic Delicacy is a three. I think the Right Cleaver is a one. And Ham the Hungry, we have to evaluate. Uh, I think every every tourist is probably at least a three, just just because having access to multiple cards for your deck building is really interesting. All right, thank you everybody for making it this far. Always remember that you're valuable and you matter. And I'll see you in the Druid reviews.